Angry parents are holding a protest in Bassendine right now. They're furious at a plan to pave over part of their school oval. But instead of a traditional sit-in, they're holding a knit-in. Rachel Carey is there for us this morning. Rachel, this oval's been there for more than four decades. Why is it now under threat? It has been there for exactly that long, Tim. Now, it was never a large oval to begin with. At the most, it could only just hold a 100-metre running race. It's now been reduced to a size that we're told at an upcoming athletics meet. Uh, they'll now be running a new 75-metre race. Now, that's because a new admin building is being built next to the old oval, and in order for that to go ahead, they need to build a new car park uh, on the existing oval, and that will take up a small portion of that oval, we're told. So now there are uh, about a dozen parents and supporters that are sitting at the front of the construction site here blocking entry to the gates with that uh, peaceful knitting, hoping that our construction workers won't turn up this morning and uh, usually we're told that they, they arrive around 6.30 and they're still yet to do so, although we have seen a few cars drive past. Now, Kylie Turner joins me now. Uh, she's a parent of one of the Year 4 students here. And Kylie, why has it come to this, to this knitting? So we've been asking the department if they'll reconsider the car park. We want them to stop construction on the car park and we want them to restore the oval to what it was previously. It's a small oval getting smaller and it, everything that we've done, every conversation that we've had with them has fallen on deaf ears so far and so unfortunately it's come to this where we have to have a peaceful protest at the front of the school trying to make the point that we'd like them to stop construction and have a conversation with us as a community about what we can do to solve the car parking issues. Now we can see here that part of the oval has already been dug up. Do you think uh, this will change the education department's mind? Uh, we'd like to change the education department's mind. In the 1970s they purchased six houses that were on the oval that we see today. Uh, and they demolished those houses and uh, rehabilitated the land so that we could have the oval that we have. We think that ripping up a car park and putting it back to rights is absolutely easily done. Now, the Education Department has released a statement this morning say that, saying that, they, uh, that feedback was invited but none was provided. What do you say to that? Well, we've provided them with lots of feedback and it's gotten to the point where we're having a knit-in to see if we can get their attention. The Department applied for the development application in December of last year and no communication happened with the school community properly until May. At that point, it was kind of unbelievable that they would put a car park on the play space. Um, multiple parents wrote letters. It was discussed at PNC meetings. Letters were tabled to say that it was a problem at PNC meetings, and yet still, the department hasn't changed their mind, which has resulted in parents becoming organised and culminated in our event today. Kylie, thank you so much for your time Cheers. this morning. Now, the parents and supporters say that they'll stay here for as long as it takes, even if that means receiving move-on notices. Tim? All right, Rach, thank you for that.